Hi Alabama fans, I'm here today to talk about some really great original artwork. Beautiful watercolor paintings that celebrate the history of the Alabama Crimson Tide football uniforms from the early years in the 1890s right up to the modern era. And I'm going to show you this artwork in a lot greater detail in just a minute, but let me kind of put all this in perspective if I can. Um, this artwork that's being offered for sale would really make a great gift. You know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversary gift, wedding gift, uh, birthday gift, retirement gift, although it doesn't even need to be a gift. Somebody could just be a great Alabama football fan, and this artwork would look beautiful framed in somebody's home or in their office. Um, let me give you a little background, and then we really will get into this artwork in a lot greater detail. My name is Scott Silcox, and I'm from Toronto. For 16 years I owned a company called Maple Leaf Productions and we made and sold a whole variety of products that celebrated the history of sports uniforms. Um, specifically NCAA uniforms but also NFL, Major League Baseball and NHL uniforms. And if you don't mind, let me focus on those three for a sec and then I'll, I'll circle back to the NCAA. In the case of the NFL, Major League Baseball and NHL, we produced a bunch, you know, a variety of products. The first of which were plaque posters, and here's just kind of two sample plaque posters, a horizontal poster and a vertical poster. In addition to plaque posters for those three leagues, we also made a, a whole variety of framed posters. I'll just show you two samples, but we did all sorts of different shapes and sizes of posters. Um, yeah, but here's a couple. Again, what I'm trying to get across is showing you how the artwork was used to celebrate the evolution of a team's uniform. In addition to plaque and framed posters for the NHL and Major League Baseball and NHL, we also made uh, clocks um, that celebrated the uniform history. We did coffee mugs. We did uh, mouse pads. Or sorry, not mouse pads. Uh, fridge magnets. We did do mouse pads as well. Um, we did a fan frame product uh, showing the evolution of a team uniform. We did playing cards, you know, kind of ace, king, queen, jack, ten, and a variety of other products. Um, in the case of the NCAA, our artwork is newer artwork, and, and thus far we don't have that breadth of products yet that the artwork has been used on, which is, which is fine, and, and you know, that will certainly happen over time. At the moment, we've got kind of two great products that celebrate the history of the NCAA team uniforms. Forgive me, Alabama fans, that I'm showing you an Oklahoma product, but you get the point. The first product that we have uh, begun selling is a framed poster that looks like this, a beautiful one that honors the evolution of the team. In, the, in your case, of course, of the Crimson Tide uniform. And then the second product that we have that gone to market is a fridge magnet, a set of four fridge magnets, again, that celebrate the history of the Alabama uniform, not Georgia, as you see here. Um, but those are our two NCAA products. In the coming years, this artwork will be used on many of the same products that you saw, the NFL and Major League Baseball and NHL products, the clocks and, and coffee mugs and fan frames and playing cards and plaque posters and, and on and on. But at the moment, these are the products that the NCAA um, uniforms and artwork have been seen on. Now, let's get into the artwork. You've been really patient with me. We've got 13 pieces of great Alabama artwork. Um, and you, you're not going to be able to see on this video the artwork in great detail, but if you were to visit our website, heritagesportsart.com, you really will be able to see this artwork in great fine detail, and I'd encourage you to do that if, if, if this was of interest to you. So, let me just show you the 13 pieces of art. The first is from the 1892 season. Beautiful. I, just, I really am taken by how beautiful these paintings are, but um, at any rate, there's an 1892 uniform that's celebrated. We show a 1905 uniform. We show a 1915 uniform. We show a 1925 uniform with the great felt uh, patches sewn on the, on the front of the jersey and on the sleeves. Um, we jump to the 1930 season. And then, beginning in the 40s, um, you know, by, certainly by most cases in the 30s, but certainly by the 40s, almost all college football teams had uniform numbers on the front of the jersey. And so we begin to honor specific players. In this case, the 41 honors Holt Rast, a great player for the Tide um, in that era. 1952 honors Bobby Marlowe. 1964 honors none other than Joe Namath, of course. Um, the 1973 uniform honors Buddy Brown. Um, 79 uniform is E.J. Junior's, Junior's number. The 86 uniform uh, shows Cornelius Bennett's number 97. The 92 uniform shows Eric Curry's uh, number 80. And then the 2005 uniform honors uh, Brody Croyle. 
Um, so those are the 13 pieces of art. I, I mentioned, please visit our website to see those in a lot greater detail. And my one other point is, you know, across North America, there are hundreds of thousands, maybe millions, Lord knows, of Alabama Crimson Tide football fans. And yet we've only got 13 pieces of original art. So if this is something you're interested in, and I feel like I'm the guy selling Ginsu knives on late night TV, I'm not that person, but you if this interests you, please act sooner rather than later because we only have 13 pieces of art and yet there are hundreds of thousands of Tide fans out there. So that's the end of my sales pitch. Thank you for putting up with me. Now, let me explain the three ways that you can actually buy this artwork. The first way is in this raw, unframed format, just like you see here. In almost all cases, the, the raw and framed artwork is $350. There's a couple cases, like the Joe Namath piece, where supply and demand will cause the price to be a bit higher. So when you visit the website, you'll see a, a slightly higher price for a couple of these pieces. But the majority of these, this is $350 if you wanted to buy the raw, unframed artwork, which we would then package properly. We'd ship it to you by UPS, and the price includes the UPS shipping. Um, and when you get it in seven to ten days time, then you could plaque it or frame it or mount it however you see fit. Um, so that's the first way you can buy the artwork. The second way you can buy the artwork is in this, what we call the classic framed version. Now I've got a Denver Broncos piece in my hand, but let's quickly make that an Alabama piece. In this case, this classic frame version comes in a thin black frame, a double white mat with the original artwork and an engraved plate telling the story of the artwork. In almost all the cases, this is $425, including UPS shipping. And in all cases, this would be custom framed. So if you placed an order today, we would then custom frame it for you such that you would get this at your doorstep in roughly two to three weeks' time. So, raw and framed art, classic frame version. And then the third and final way you could buy the artwork is in what we call our deluxe framed version. In this case, it's a thicker black frame, a black mat, then the original artwork and engraved plate. Um, but in the case of the NCAA, at the bottom, Instead of here in the NFL, we had a kind of a horizontal poster showing the evolution of a team uniform. In the case of the NCAA and the Crimson Tide, the poster would actually look like this. So the frame piece would be slightly taller to accommodate this, you know, this more squarish uh, shaped poster. What I think is so neat is you, you would look at your original artwork that you're purchasing. You know, in this case, I'm holding the 1892 uniform. You'd see your original artwork, but then you could look below in the poster and actually see, okay, there is my actual artwork used in that poster. I think it's just kind of a neat treatment. So again, in most cases, this is $450, including UPS shipping, and it would be custom framed if you placed an order. Um, now, um, just to briefly explain, this artwork was all painted by a wonderful artist, I mean, a tremendous person, Nola McConn, and she actually owns all of this artwork. She's asked me for my help in promoting the sale of it, which I'm delighted to do. Nola's such a nice person that I'm delighted to help her, and, and so just to explain who owns the artwork. Now, as to how you can buy it, it's really simple. There's just two ways to buy it. The first is, please visit the website, heritagesportsart.com. It's fully e-commerce enabled. You can buy using any major credit card through the PayPal system. Or if somehow you, you just felt uncomfortable or, or you wanted to speak to somebody live and in person, then please phone me. My name is Scott. I'm a real live person. It would be fun to talk to a real live Crimson Tide fan. Uh, my cell phone number is 416 315 4736. It'll be fun to talk to you. I can tell you the history that went in, research that went into this project. I could tell you about Nola the artist and, and any other questions you might have. I'd be delighted to answer if you wanted to place an order live and in person. So thank you for, for that. Now I just have two final points and then I'll leave you alone, Crimson Tide fans. The first is, if you happen to think of another Tide fan who you think loves great artwork, would you be nice enough to pass along this YouTube URL to them? If you would, I'd really be indebted to you in, in helping to spread the word. And secondly, you might recall at the beginning that I mentioned in addition to NCAA artwork, we also have NFL, Major League Baseball, and NHL artwork. In fact, we've got over 1,500 pieces of beautiful original artwork available for sale at our website. Um, so if you or somebody you know is a fan of another team, another sport, and another city, you, you be, you'll surely be able to find some great artwork for sale at the website, and I would greatly appreciate your help in, in promoting HeritageSportsArt.com. So, thank you very much, Crimson Tide fans. You've been really kind to put up with me. I wish you all sorts of personal health and happiness, and I wish the Tide the best in this upcoming season. Thanks very much. Bye.